Tip number one, let your bank know. Notify your bank prior to travel. Be sure to convert some local currency before you leave and have it readily available while abroad. Tip number two, talk to your doctor. Be sure to speak with your healthcare professional about any prescription medications and access to them while abroad. Tip number three, think about the environment. Consider the environment that you are going to and make sure that your luggage is easily transportable for you and your host country. Your carry-on will likely double as your weekend travel bag if you are planning on traveling on the weekends. Be sure to keep this in mind when deciding what bag to bring. In your carry-on, be sure to pack all of the essential items that you can't live without for more than one day. This includes your chargers for any electronic devices that you will be using, power adapters, and plug converters that will work in your host country, as well as a change of clothes and travel-sized toiletries. Your flight to your host country will most likely be very long, so it's handy to have items to freshen up while traveling in your carry-on. To help with homesickness, some students want to bring a small token to remind them of home, such as a printed photo or small pocket-sized keepsake. Make sure that you don't forget your documentation, such as your passport, visa, ID, a photocopy of the back of your credit card, and some local currency in case of any emergencies. Tip five, use packing cubes. Packing cubes make it easy to use all of the room in your suitcase. You can purchase them in a variety of sizes and styles from many large retailers, such as Amazon. They also make it easy to organize your suitcase by clothing item. In this small packing cube, there are eight shirts rolled up. You can also compress your large coats in vacuum seal bags to save space. These are available for purchase at any large retailer as well. Our study abroad locations are all around the world and a variety of climates, so be sure to look at the weather of your host country prior to leaving. This will give you a good idea of what to bring and what not to bring. Keep in mind that it might be winter during our summer and the weather may fluctuate by season. Tip seven, bring the basics. Think about what you will actually wear on a daily basis while abroad. Forget those statement jeans you will most likely only wear once. Think about pieces that are comfortable and can go with a variety of different outfits. Pro tip, consider the clothing social norms of your host country and pack accordingly. We suggest doing your research beforehand as it can differ by country. You will be walking way more abroad than you do in the United States. From different transportation methods to exploring to adventures, you will want comfortable shoes. So leave those heels in trendy but uncomfortable shoes at home. In addition to this, it is common for hot tools such as hair straighteners and blow dryers to short circuit in many foreign countries due to their high voltage. So we recommend purchasing those items in your host country or bringing a travel plug converter. Many travel experts recommend packing twice meaning packing your suitcase once and then packing it again with fewer items. This will ensure that you do not overpack and are only bringing what you will actually use. Take into consideration that you may want to purchase items while abroad and will need room to pack those items back into the US. Consider buying larger items like big coats once you get into your host country. We hope these tips help you while packing for your overseas adventure. Have the best time and as always, bear down.